Here's how to peel a carrot. You've never done it before. Most carrots are not this huge, by the way. Um, so I got this peeler. You can see that this is actually Faberware, but it's got that little peeler thing in the middle. Trying to peel carrots with a knife, if you're not really good at it, totally sucks because you will jack it up. So one of these is good. So you just simply take the carrot, point it away from you, and the easiest way to do this is to always peel away from your body. I'm sitting down because I'm a lazy pants. Okay, so anyway, here, and you'll just start pushing with just a little bit of pressure into the carrot, and you'll start to see that it'll start taking the outside off. This is just in case for some reason you thought it was okay to eat a carrot without peeling it. It's not. And I usually do the whole bottom half first. If it's misshapen like this, it takes a little bit longer because you're not able to get as even of strokes. And I'll usually kind of smack at the end to get off all the yucky stuff that's usually at the bottom of the carrot. And then once you get about half of it, you'll flip it over and do the same thing. And notice that the carrot peelings kind of go everywhere. Uh, you'll want to have something to catch everything, but just pretty much expect that it's going to end up all over the place. That's why I'm outside. Now, obviously, I am not a professional, but this is just the easiest way that I've found to do this. And you can actually use a peeler to even, um, if you don't have like a salad shooter, if you're trying to get really thin carrot ribbons, you can actually use a carrot peeler to do that too after it's already peeled. Okay, so I've pretty much got all that off. Carrot looks kind of funky, but anyhow. Um, so it is peeled, so then I would just wash it off, probably cut off the end and then slice it up or do whatever with it.